There are two ways to add an outline to graphics and texts in Illustrator. The one is a very common way, then there's a more uncommon method that gives you the ability to edit your artwork without having to recreate these outlines over and over and over again. If you've ever done this, you know how painfully neurotic it can make you. Have no fear, I'm gonna show you both methods in this video. If you wanna follow along with me, you can download the source file in the description below. I'll meet you inside of Illustrator. We'll start with the most common way that people outline objects. I've got everything grouped here. I'll grab this group and drag it on top of the Add New Layer button. Make this invisible for now. I'll open the Pathfinder panel and click Unite. This will turn our group into one solid shape. Change it into the color of the outline that I want, in this case white. I'll make that layer visible again. Now I'll come over to Object, Path, Offset Path, hit Preview, and dial this into a setting that I like, and click OK. And that's the most common way to get an outline. In most cases, this is an acceptable way to do it. Uh, the only problem comes when you need to make an adjustment to the artwork. For instance, let me just lift up one of these vials here. You see, just a subtle change like that, and now I have to go through and create that outline all over again. Now let me undo that. Now I'm gonna show you a different method. Let's make sure our group is selected. Now I'll open the Appearance panel, which can be found under Window Appearance. I'll come down here and click Add New Fill. We'll change the color to the outline that you desire. This time I'm gonna do a dark gray. Now I'll drag that fill under the contents. That moves it behind the artwork. Now I'll come down here to Effects and select Path, Offset Path. Again, I'll click Preview and put in the desired amount, I'll click round, it makes the corners look really smooth, and click OK. I'll select these two vials and push them up. As you can see, the outline followed the objects to their new location. So let me undo that again. And the other cool thing about the appearance panel is that you can add another fill on top of that. And this one I'll do white. I'll drag down underneath everything, select effects, path, offset path again, and we'll make this one slightly thicker turn it to round, click OK. So now I'm gonna add even more elements to the composition and give them the same properties as our existing graphics. I've got this hand reaching down all set up and ready to go. It's really simple, you just grab it and drag it right into the group. And look at that, it takes on the same outline properties as this other one. Now to complete this, I'll drag this file up and place it in his fingers, there we go. You can do this as many times as you want to, just grabbing your graphics, drag it into that group, and there's your outline. Ladies and gentlemen, the fact that you invested your time to improve your design craft is praiseworthy. I might not be your parents or your best friend, but I'm gonna say it. Today was another step forward for you in your design journey, and I'm proud of you. My friends, this channel is meant to help you survive and thrive in your creative journey. If you wanna join the tribe, click subscribe. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button and click the bell if you wanna be notified every time I release a video. Remember, if you've discovered work you love doing that people need and you're good at it, every project is a play date. And every Monday is a fun day. See you in the next video. It's been